channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe. All right, so now I went ahead and I pulled the other side out, pulled the passenger side out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the, decided to go ahead and pull both sides so I just have them all in the house. Um, so you can see this is the, the driver's side here. And again, we're just gonna go around and we're gonna see that there's that little lever again. And we're just gonna, or latch I should say. And we're gonna see if we can get that undone here with one hand. This one's going to be a little bit tougher. But this one pulls up and out just like I showed. Just like I showed you before. Except I've got a towel hiding in here. Now that was just to be able to make up some of the space because these, these springs have actually gotten really weak. And so I'm going to end up having to change those out. Um, I didn't order them yet, but um, it's something that I'm going to have to do. But anyway, that's what you do is take a towel, you know, and, and fold it up nice and neat or it'll fit down inside there. And um, I tried to put two in there and that was just a little too much. Um, it was too hard for the latch to come back around here and, and latch down. So one seems to be the magic number. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take the two inside or two bottom cushions in the house and we're going to go ahead and get the camera up on a tripod so you can here start to have... see. We've got the bottom of one of the cushions here. Um, I've actually got the, the new bottoms right here, right below us here. And you can see from this part here that I've had wire ties are already on this. So I've had to do a repair to this seat here, as I think I showed you when it was in the car. So I tried to stitch this, man, you know, just by hand with this uh, neat needle and thread just to keep it going until I got the new covers. So all I'm going to do there I'm just going to cut those little guys off, which is really, that part's real simple because we haven't, uh, you know, I've already taken the hog rings off of this side. So, I say it's simple, and then of course it's going to be, be kind of ornery on me, but we're just going to cut these little guys off. And that one just took, a, took flight there, didn't it? We're just going to take these, cut these little guys loose. And make sure you don't cut your finger here. That would be an ornery. Okay. Again, we're just wanting to cut the get the, the uh, these guys loose so we can get this uncovered okay so we've got those got those all done got that one done this one And up until this point, I was I was afraid to tear these things apart myself too because it was like I didn't this is uncharted water and I didn't want to ruin the seat trying to just patch it until I was really ready to make the changes. So, so you can see I've got it undone here, and there's also some you know some the clips here that I had pulled pulled apart. So we're just gonna get those little guys out. So, there's one right there. And I'm not sure here if there's one in here or not. Okay. All right. So, now what we've got is we've got the hog rings that we need to start taking out. So, Usually what I do here, depending on how they're put on, we might be able to sometimes just twist these free. If not, we've got to use two of them. Just to use two, you know, you can use a pair of pliers, um, 
or two of your two of these kind of you know the cutoffs here to twist the twist these hog rings so you can get them loose and this one's just being just enough ornery that we'll get it but it's just being ornery So if you've got cutters that are strong enough that you want to just clip these, you can because we're not going to reuse them. Looks like so. And we're going to end up doing that on all of these. So. And this is the most time consuming part of this whole job is taking these off and making sure that you don't cut yourself as you're doing it. Because these little guys are sharp and they can they can definitely definitely hurt. I can attest to that when I did the back seats, the other the or the backs of these seats, uh, in the other video, um, I I slipped a couple of times and um, and I got myself pretty good and uh, cut my cut my finger open so you want to be careful um, and then like I said the ends of these hog rings are really really sharp so you want to make sure that you be you know that you're careful and that you don't that you don't cut yourself so try to use the tool to your advantage and not um, um, Try not to use your fingers too much. I mean, like this is one thing, but trying to you know twist it apart and use your fingers so you can see how sharp those little guys are. And then they're rusted on top of that, so you want to be really careful. Okay. Um, so that's all we're doing here. We're just taking these apart. So I'm gonna get this one here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop the camera. Um, so and i'll finish pulling them off in the sense of you having to watch me take all of these off and then we'll resume the resume the film after that so uh you know, you're not sitting here just watching me take hog rings out of the seat all right okay so they kind of reverse engineered this a little bit and what they did and i don't know if you can see it or not but when you peel this this back you can see inside here i don't know if i can get that open enough but there's a there's one hog loop right there there's one right here and there's one right down here and they didn't put a lot of them in there but they put enough in there that that will suck this seam up inside the foam so I'm gonna have to take and pull the hog rings loose from here here and here to be able to get this loose this part is loose because we already did the back side so and then we'll, once we flip get these out we'll flip it the other side then it'll just be a matter of me you know, uh, using a zip tie through here along this whole ridge. And when you open this up, it's uh, again hard, probably hard for you to see it with the camera, but you can see the wire. The wire is exposed here. They decided to do it on the inside of the seat, apparently, rather than on the outside of the seat here. So, just a little bit different way of doing it, but um, but um, it's doable. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove those and then we'll come back. Okay, so before I pulled this apart, I think I had told you that there was like three hooks. Actually, I think there's a total of six. There was one right here, one right here, and then there's one as you, you know, as you're able to pull this back, you can see it. So it makes it easier on you. So you can see here, and it's right up on, a, on the, um, the metal frame, the wire frame. So you can take your, your cutters and you can just twist these little guys. And um, the first two came out really, really simple. This one's going to be like a little bit harder, apparently. But we'll be able to get it out. There we go. There's that one. And we've got a couple more here. So if you can see again what I'm doing here, I'm just twisting that loose. That little ring just does not want to come out. And we are down to the very last one, which is the one that's buried the farthest down. And we're going to 
pull that little guy loose. And now you can see we're exposed, exposing the, the foam here. And it looks like it's all dusty, but it's not. It just wore from the seat. And you can see the other side wasn't even hooked up anymore. It was just sitting in there. So, you know, that's, this is from me patching it before with the, with some tape on the seams and then stitching it back together. Um, this was a, this all homemade repair, but it worked. It held for almost a year. So now what we've got, we've got, I'm gonna throw that off to the side. We've got our, we've got our foam here. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, make sure we don't have any extra, which we do, we've got some hog rings in here that are just kind of laying in there. Okay, so make sure that we don't have anything in there that's gonna like cut our new seats or poke us when we're when we're sitting in them again. Okay, so so we're good. So now the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna take our nice new pretty seat, here's the inside of it. And we're just gonna flip it over here. Like so did here before I, I didn't do before I pulled the old cover and threw it off to the side was and again like in the back seats there's these little rods so there is a short one that's up in the very front part of the cat the cover and then we've got another one that's a little bit longer which I think I showed you earlier it's in the middle and then we have one that's in the very back of the seat also and that goes in the very back so that gets us uh, where the hog rings have something to hook to to pull all these four corners down. So I just want to bring that to your attention beforehand that I didn't just bypass it. So you don't want to make sure that you make sure you get those pieces out of the seat because you're going to need to put them in the new cover. Okay, so um, basically um, you just want to make sure that you've got this, going to get this lined up here. Make sure that you know where we want to be able to put, we're going to want to be able to put the, um, put our holes in our fabric here. So when, if we do all that ahead of time, we put our two here and our, and our two or three of them over here, right? We'll have the holes already pre-done. So then that way we're not trying to stuff, make holes while it's already stuffed down in here. And then that way it'll be very simple to just pull the zip tie up and, and tighten these on. So we want to do that on both sides okay so it's going to be much easier to do it while it's out so that's what i'm going to do now um so i'm just literally going to take my little tool that i have and you can again this happens to be a very very uh sharp sharp torque of all things it makes a perfect little hole but you could use an, an awl or whatever just to be able to poke it through and again we're going through this this inner fabric right here that he's put on there that they've stitched in to be able to you know to control it we don't have to have all it's doing is kind of holding it in the slot so it's not like there's a lot of pressure that has to be applied to this so you know it's we're just putting it like so we're just gonna poke a hole like so here and then we're just gonna take a wire tie we'll pull this out Put a wire tie, wire tie through it. Now, the, the wire itself that's inside the frame of the seat is pretty much, I mean, it's, it's accessible pretty much um, throughout the whole, the whole seat here. So if you, even though you pulled out, you want to pull out, you know, two hog rings, um, you want to put in a few more of the wire ties, you could do that. You know, it's not, not a big deal. If you feel that it would be more secure um now 
I'm just putting them, I'm just going to put three in this one because this should be more than enough. All we're doing is just literally just getting it to tuck itself down in there. And it'll probably tuck itself anyway um, just from naturally sitting. Okay. Um, yeah, the more I think about it, I might want to put one more right there. This will be a matter of how you feel about it and how is what makes you feel comfortable. It's like so. Okay. We're going to do the same thing up here. Typically, you can see the hole that you created. You'll be able to see, so it's not like it's... I know if you guys are looking at this with the camera, you're probably not going to be able to see when you're going to, what the heck, how's he figuring out how that's going in the right hole. Um, once I pull this little guy out, I kind of have my finger right next to the hole so I can kind of see it because it is trying to close up. But um, And trust me, I can't see that well. Um, so it's not that I have eagle eyes or anything like that. This one here, I think I only need to have three. So we're just going to do that. Just like so. Okay, so we've got those, we've got those, uh, what, seven? Seven of them hooked up in there. And so I'm going to take this and I'm going to tuck this front corner of the seat. So this way we're not stretching this out. And I'm going to tuck the front part of the seat up inside itself here. So we're not overly stretching everything, and we want to make sure that we get, get, get the cushion, the foam up inside the cover. And once we get that, then this is kind of, should make it a lot easier. So, now that we've got that in there, we've got our little wire ties, like so. I don't know if you can see me here or not. I think you can. So, we're just going to reach down here and feel for the, um, for the wire ties. We're going to, and we're going to hook into the the wire spring, or the wire frame, I should say. Kind of looks like a spring. And we're just going to put that in there like so. And these wire ties, they want to always go straight, so you kind of have to dig your finger down in there, kind of train that wire tie to come back up rather than go down into the foam itself. This one's being a little bit ornery. So, what I ended up doing here is on this front one it was going to be really, really tight, and it was, and it was also going to be a little short. So, when I shut the camera off, I figured out that I need a longer wire tie in the front one at least to be able to get this in there so I can start getting my hands out of the way. So I pulled that little short little guy out and I went ahead and put a longer one in. And that will that'll make it so I can I can get my hand in there. And you could do this on all of them. And we may have to. I was just trying to not utilize every one of my long ones, but we might have to. So once we get that like so, okay, we can just start the, we can start it. We don't have to totally tie it off yet. Then we can go to the next one and we can fit get that one ready to go.
And I think this is going to work a little bit better because I needed to get that longer one to get this thing started. But once we have once we have it going, a little better deal. But I can tell you that just by doing this for a few minutes here, I can tell that this is going to be, it would have been much easier if I would have used the longer wire ties, or zip ties, as to say. Because these are just a little too short. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're just going to change them all. Have to run down to the store before I can finish doing the other one. So now I've lost my hole, so I'm gonna have to hook another hole here. Like so. This is going to let me get down in there without having to really okay and just so you know I mean I'm doing this on the fly here showing you and I'm I'm doing it uh, for the first time myself so you can see that it is a little bit, a little bit uh, time consuming. It's kind of, kind of a pain in the butt to say, but um, it's, uh, it's not really that hard, right? And as you go and you do this very first one, like I learned on the, when I was doing the the backs, is that you don't. It took me almost two hours to do one of the backs the first time. The second back was less than an hour. See, so once you figure this out, once we get this one done, then we'll know exactly what we're looking for to do on the second one, and it won't be as hard of a deal. And so, you know, it's typically anything you're learning, it always takes time to learn it. So, now I'm able to use some of the, as I'm moving back farther away from this, the, where the channel isn't so deep, you can see I've been able to use my other wire ties are shorter and I'm, I'm being able to use them so I'm not having to give up all of my, my good long ones that I need and um, so there so I'm just starting the loop here I'm not really you know just kind of getting them started I'm not tightening them down because we just want to get what we're gonna do we're gonna do this on this other side also and we'll tighten, once we get them all on adjustment, we'll get them all looped so they're not coming loose. And then we'll do the other side. And then once we do that, then we'll get the let we can get the leather in place exactly where it needs to be on the seat with the foam and everything. And then we'll just be able to tighten these up. And then we won't have, there shouldn't be any stress on them. But this way, as we do this, we can get them right, exactly right where we cut these little guys off. Just like so. And we're done with that part of it. So now we just have to, we just got to go back to what we were doing here, tucking these, these wires into the seam. Actually, we started on this side here. So we've got those. We're going to put the, put the few more back into this corner over here, and we'll come back over to the other side, and we'll, we'll get this all buttoned up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this part of it since you've already seen what we're doing and um, and then I'll show you what it's done. So we've got it to the point where we've got everything is done on the inside here and here, all along in here. I've gone ahead and I used a longer strap, a long stronger strap for the very center here just to pull the sides up. You can see that. So then all I've done now at this point is I've just gone ahead and I've popped a hole through the leather right along the way. And if you can see that, I've done it right through the through the fabric that they use instead of the leather. 
The back side of this, there is leather, and so I went through it completely. So we've got, got plenty of real estate here to hold on to, and it's not going to tear through. So all I'm doing now is I'm going to, this foam has a, it has a mesh running through it. It's embedded all the way through this foam. And so I'm just going to pop some holes in here like so to get through the mesh. You'll be able to see it. But it's and it's there so that's all I'm doing is I'm just gonna put through here like so and then once you put it in you can dig down a little bit and you can feel the, the you know your wire or your zip tie and it'll just pop out like so so that's all I'm doing I'm just one like that We just want to get through that mesh so we've got something to hook on to. Just like that. So we're just putting this in. And then like I said, we're gonna go down, go down a little bit, and get the go below where it's where the uh, the plastic's coming through. You can see right there, we've got the mesh pulled across like so. Now you can loop these. Just lightly loop them, just get it started so they don't come undone. Just like that. So that way you don't have to end up going back and doing it all over again. And then we gotta see if we can find another another bit of, of the mesh here. You want to be really careful that you don't, you know, you're using something that's sharp, so you don't want to, definitely don't want to poke a hole in yourself, you know, because that, this thing will go right through you, um, you know, if you're not careful. So you can see right there, I'm just, that's all I'm doing is just pulling it through, and then hooking it here. Just like that. Again, you can see the mesh over here on this side, so we're just going to poke a hole again. Go down through it. Dig down. I'm just going underneath that, you know, your plastic. Getting it in there like so. You're not wanting to tear a big chunk out of the, out of the fabric. But you're wanting to get the, the hook or the your uh, your zip tie. You want to be able to make sure that it comes up up and out. So that's all you're doing. So we're just repeating that all the way down. And you can wiggle it around a little bit just to make sure that you've got you've got the mesh and that it's going pretty much where you want it to. And then, again, you're just going to, instead of trying to fight it through the, you know, through the hole your, with your, your fingers, let this thing do its work. Let it do it all for you. So now I've pretty much got this all hooked up here. I'm going to do one more. Just like that so that's what we've got okay now it's really just as simple as just tie, tying these up it's like so and there's no rhyme or reason exactly on how many I just tried to take you know space them out where it looks like it wouldn't bind this this bolster here and so if you know, but if you feel like you've got a wrinkle that's coming up or whatever, and you want to get rid of it, put another, just put another loop in there, just another zip tie, and that'll, that'll fix the problem. It's like here, here's one right here that looks like, eh, that one could be. It's probably not going to be seen because of the frame anyhow, but we can go ahead and we can just put one through here.
just like so. Again, you're going to put it through the hole, come in behind it, and you're just going to lift, lift on up, and pull it through. I didn't get that one loop right there. It needs to go in right here. And we're going to try to get it up right there. And there she comes. Like so, and there we have it. So, at that point, all we're doing is we're just going to cut these little guys off. point we've got one that's completely finished on this side okay all we're going to do is we're just going to repeat this process on the other side so I'm not going to not going to bore you guys with that I'll come back to the video the next part of the video to so we took this piece together we're back and we've got got all the sides here done the sides on this side done so the seat's looking pretty good at this point it's, you know like I said, the little bit of wrinkles, those will come out fairly fast. The first time it gets warm, they'll st just start to line out or when the first person sits in the seat. But anyway, I wanted to go over the rest of this, which is fairly easy. Um, what we're going to do here is you can see that they put this extra flap on here. And the original, the original factory covers, they didn't do that. It literally went right to here. They hog ringed right into this piece, went right to the frame. So they, because it really it isn't is needed because nobody's going to be behind your seat to see back there anyhow. But they decided to make these things just a little bit prettier. So there's a little more to it now. So what we've got is that we're just going to the original hog rings went into here. And here they only put two little hooks on there um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put basically probably a total of four so two on this side two on this side so we leave this little ridge uh, not being affected here so we don't want to put a strap in the middle so we'll we'll do here and here and here and here and then once that's done then we'll take and we'll fold this over and we literally will just put a, like a hook here and a hook here and then wire tie it to this strap here just to keep this closed so um, as far as the as far as the other part of it same thing here this is an extra piece of flap the of fabric that it wasn't on the factory piece so what I'm going to do here is I'm literally going to fold this under just like so and then I'll hook into here here and here and that will lock this place, this this in, into place, and I'll just tuck these up inside here like so, so you won't even see them. And so, without me sitting here um, talking through this, I'm going to go ahead and put it on time lapse again, so you can see me do it, but you don't have to listen to me while we're doing that. All right.
saw in the uh, in the time lapse that we had we did all of the all the strapping here all along here we had to re-engineer how it was originally put together over on this spot by using the hooks then we covered them up we used the straps to cover the strip make the strap or the cover um, you know look nice and cover the original holes over here and then we also have we've folded this up which originally again factory was all the way to here and so we pulled this down to make this um, make this accommodate it without cutting it because we didn't want it screw up the integrity of the of the seat itself so we've got it all tied up all done um, now what you're gonna see is that they went ahead and um, they used white stitching along these edges so right this little section right here and here that is going to be visible um, when the seat goes in so what you want to do is you want to take a uh, shoe polish you could use a sharpie pin which is what I use and you sharpie this in so this is all black and then at that point no one's going to be able to see it and same thing over on this side here um, at this point we are ready to, to put it back into the car and um, so just wanted to show you the finished product here and um, so we're going to go out we're going to put this in the car and then we should be good to go um, so thank you for watching um, it's been i know this has been a long video i'm going to try to edit it down some but this does take a long time um, i'm going to venture to say that the like i said the tops those took approximately three hours to do them um, the first one took about two hours. The second one um, was about hour, right in that ballpark. So about, about three hours, maybe a little bit more. The bottom ones, which I actually thought were going to be a little easier, turned out to be just as hard as the, as the backs. So we're probably got, even though I, I did the time lapse um, to speed things up, we're probably in this actual work time, probably about an hour and a half in each seat. Um, there's just some of it, it just takes time and you gotta manip manipulate everything and uh, you don't wanna stretch the leather so much that you end up tearing it because then it's no good. And you wanna make sure you don't aren't putting the holes in the wrong spot. So, so anyway, um, but this is the finished, finished product. I am tickled to death with what it looks like. Um, so, uh, we're going to go out and we're going to install this in the car and I'll try to show you how this latch and you want to, you're going to want to put this latch way down. I don't know if you can see that, but you know, try to get this all the way down and we're going to push way down on this part of the seat so I can rip, reach up underneath there with my fingers and pull this up to lock it. So, um, you'll, you should be able to see that in the video, but I just wanted to go over it here just in case. All right. So like I was talking to you about, I was saying that we want to use a sharpie. I'm just literally using a wide-ended sharpie here, and I'm just going to go in here, and I'm just marking, marking this, so it doesn't doesn't stand out. So you can see that's all I'm doing with it. Now most of this isn't visible anyhow, but. Um, this is just me making sure that I am not going to look down in the crack when I open the door and see white stitching. Um, so, like I said, it's just more of a precautionary thing um, so I don't have to, have to worry about that. Nobody's going to be able to see my work. We're going to do the same thing over on this side. It covers pretty easy. all there is to it okay so now we're sitting over here on the passenger side of the car and I've got my seat and I'm just gonna go ahead and insert it here it's just gonna it's just gonna fit right in the slot as you can see here now like I was talking about with this this loop here at the bottom you can see right there 
all I'm doing is I'm just going to push this down. So it's got to go through that hole down there in the bottom. So we're going to push this down like so. And I'm going to reach up underneath here. And you'll be able to feel it. So at that point, I'm pushing down on the cushion with my other arm using my body weight. And it's going to be a little ornery. So I'm just going to push down a little bit harder here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Trying to do this one hand is really fun. Anyway, I've got it right to the point where I, I've got the, the clip in my hand. And I'm going to push down just a little bit harder. And let's see here. It's right there. If I can get it, see if I can get this a little bit more down. See if I can get that to stay there. You can see right there that I flipped over it. I had I put a lot of weight, a lot of body weight there on it to push it down. Got it up here like so. I can release it, lift up, and we are good. That seat's in there, it's not going anywhere, and that is it. We finally got it done. This whole time frame from the uh, top, the, the tops to the bottom is about six hours worth of work. Um, so not, I mean, it's not something you do every day. Uh, and so, you know, it's like, I probably never have to do that to this, this car again, ever. But um, I think they came out really well. And um, you, know, you can you can see that they did a really good job putting these together. I'm very happy with them. I would definitely buy seats from them again if I ever do another restoration. And um, so hopefully this video has helped you um, show you again what you can do if you're handy enough and you want to do this and tackle it yourself. Um, you can get, you know, a two or $3,000 upholstery job done for, you know, three, four hundred dollars if you want to do the work yourself. So um, it can be done. I just showed you it can be done. So um, hopefully you can make now make the decision on whether you just want to send it into the shop or you want to do it yourself. But anyway, that's the difference between three or four thousand dollars and four hundred bucks. So hopefully this helped. Have a great night, guys. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. If you like what you saw today, please hit subscribe and hit the like button. Also, be sure to hit that bell so you will be alerted to our next uploads.